Hey guys, it's Rena from Chicks and Salsa. I was putting together a post about bedtime beauty regimens and I thought I'll just go ahead and make a video and show you what I've been doing. A few years ago, I was subscribing to Birchbox and Ipsy and I ended up with dozens of sample size products that were just everywhere and I wasn't getting through them. And I had figured out that maybe if I kept them in front of my face or at arm's length, that I would be able to actually try all the products and use them. So what I had started doing, and this was like seven, eight years ago, was keeping them at my bedside. Not in the drawers, but at my bedside. Uh, I've never really been in the routine of washing my face at night. I tend to brush my teeth and just hop into bed. So it kind of worked out for me while I was just winding down at night, talking to my husband or maybe watching some TV. I would just take care of my skin right here in bed. And I do that to this day. Uh, I only have, as you can see, a handful of beauty products at my bedside right now. And I just wanted to show you the five or six things I do before I go to bed. And like I said, it's a life hack. Like, take those products that are cluttering up your countertops and put them at your bedside and use them at night. And you will get through them. You will enjoy using them. You'll appreciate, you know, when you're lathering in a moisturizer at night or an eye serum. Uh, you'll have a more greater appreciation for the feel of that. So I wanted to start out, I only have half a dozen or so products right now. Uh, like I said, I'm not great about washing my face. So I always keep makeup remover wipes at my bedside because it's just the first thing you do when I get to bed. I am not particular about these. Um, these are the Equate and I also use the Neutrogena. But I'm, you know, I haven't found a makeup remover wipe that's necessarily better than the other. In fact, when I'm in a bind, I use baby wipes sometimes. But um, I think the most important part of this is just taking what's on your face off and allowing your skin the opportunity to create. Now, I have written about my eyebrows. In the 80s and 90s, the thinner eyebrows were trendier. I was waxing and threading and tweezing my eyebrows off. And now I have super thin eyebrows. So for about two weeks now, I've been using castor oil, and this is like, I think like a, maybe an Indian regimen, but my mom had given me this, and she just said put it on, and I'm not even kidding you guys, I'll put a picture up, but this has worked already, and I wish I had been doing this, if I had been doing this for the last year, I could have full growth by now, but I am on the track to bigger, bushier eyebrows because that's what I want right now. And castor oil is doing it. Now this one is just an organic Jamaican castor oil um, that promotes hair growth. So I will link all this stuff below, but this has been a surprising thing, which is so funny because I'm trying to remove hair from all the rest of my face, but on my eyebrows I'm trying to grow it. Along those lines, um, I recently had the opportunity to try out some products from Rodan Fields. And Rodan Fields is one of those companies where everyone I know who represents them is some kind of health professional. I received these products from a PharmD, and I have a personal friend who's a physician that sells Rodan Fields as well. And when you have a team that's backed up with those kind of experts, it just creates this feeling of legitimacy with the product. And so I was excited to try it. I've heard about it for years. Um, and I had already been using Lash Boost forever. Now me and my sisters used to use Latisse. Uh, you need a prescription for it and it's it's expensive and it's you know just an extra step in trying to get something. Lash Boost is very similar to that. We had very similar results and you can buy this without a prescription. This is also really expensive, but you can email me for a special discount with my rep, but it is amazingly dramatic. are longer than ever. I have a video where I was doing a makeup tutorial. I literally got distracted by how long my lashes had gotten. Um, it's a phenomenal product. I have no issues with it. I've actually been using this one for years. Now the new one I got, I've been messing around with the um, dark circles under my eyes, doing pretty much whatever I can to brighten them out, or at least even out the complexion around my eyes. And I was gifted an Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. I kept that at my bedside. I used that. And now, for the last couple of weeks, I've been using the Bright Eye Complex by Rodan Fields. I will show you my before and after for this, but I actually feel like I had better results with the Bright Eye Complex. 
from Rodan Fields than I did with the Estee Lauder Night Repair. And the prices are comparable. Um, and there might be a little bit more in this tube, in fact. And I have a little bit of my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair serum lap that I had received in a gift. And so I put this on what's left. So after I take off my makeup, I put on my Bright Eye Complex, I put on my Lash Boost, I rub this on whatever surface area is left. And then I am not picky about lip balms. I have a million of them. I, my children use those EOS balls all the time. This one is an argan oil based lip balm. But I always keep something on the side here just because my lips tend to chap. And then the last thing I keep, and I have this everywhere in my car and everything. I'm one of those people that loves to um, lather up my hands. And so I have this hand cream that, that I picked up at Whole Foods and I love it. Um, just to kind of, you know, just while I'm watching TV to lather in and it feels great. But all of this doesn't take but five minutes to do at night and it makes me feel good that I'm doing something to take care of my skin. And what do you guys do? Like what makes it easier for you? By keeping these products right next to me at night, it makes me use them, it makes me appreciate them, it makes me take care of my face. That's, that's my tip. So tell me what you guys do, and I hope this was helpful. And if you want to know anything about this, drop me a comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel.